And today we're talking Gmail and how easily it is to switch between signatures once they are set up. I went to a new Gmail this morning, saw a blue pop-up which said easily switch between different signatures. So let's have a look in my test account where you can go to top right settings, general and then scroll pretty much near the bottom and you'll see signature, no signatures, create new. So I've tried to do a lot of the thorough work here. There will be a tiny demo at the end of this video by the way. So going top left, signature, create new, you have to name the new signature. On the left here I've created a home, a home office cell, an office and a weekend cell and done them just like that where you can enter any stuff in the box including fonts, sizes, bold, italic in the normal sort of way, bullet points, quotes. On the right hand side here where the laser pointer is is what it looks like in settings. In other words, you get a left panel with the names of the signatures and on the right is a preview and an editor. Create new. At the bottom you'll notice on this panel no signature and no signature is set for defaults. On the left here I've changed that and said for new emails I'm going to use the office, on reply the home. That's just a way I've just set it up for this demo. I don't think I'll probably do that in real life. However, on the bottom it says insert signature before quoted text and replies and remove the dot dot that precedes it. I've selected that because I like the brief signature that I use to be up the top of the page should people need to see my name or website or stuff like that. Um, on the left hand side is a test. I'm not using this one because it's an all. In other words, it's my name YouTube channel. Home numbers, London office, I don't work in a London office, I'm not on weekend call, but you can get the idea that I've just put all these things in with an image, which looks really bulky. On the right hand side I've had done a little test here, which is the same four lines, and then a skinny little image just to kind of like balance it, to try and bring the reader's attention to, hey, I'm, I'm saying this, this is who I am, and there's it's like a break for a colour. Again, this is, is a test thing. Now... As one idea, and there's a bit of a cheat and a bit of a, a basis to it, on my Gmail on mobile, I have a signature literally set as the YouTube channel and a Twitter handle. That's it. I don't put any phone numbers on it. I don't put any other annoying stuff, especially this thing with um, excuse typos sent by mobile. I used to do that, and I just thought it's no, no disrespect to the people who use it. I just thought it's... Um, quite pretentious really. The only thing that I would say in return to that, and you can cheat, and you can cheat for a reason, and that is that in a polite reason. And what that means is on desktop I've set one up called um, mobile cheat or whatever, and that is that it says excuse typos sent by mobile with the YouTube channel. And I guess you could argue in a nice sort of etiquette way that you can give someone like a two or three word or almost like smart reply without actually revealing that you're actually on the desktop. Does that make sense? In other words, if I put excuse typos sent by mobile, say someone sent me 500 words and I reply with, with like, oh, I will come back to you on this, you know, excuse typos sent by then they think that you're actually out rather than I'm at my desktop but I don't, or I'm not giving the time to reply to you, which is, any, anyway, hey, that, that's a... Uh, pretentious, uh, contentious thing to actually talk about. Last thing here, I'm not, I'm not done, I'm just putting that slide up, and that is that I'm nearly done. Um, so... Just as a demo, what you do here on this test account of mine is I've gone to settings, general, gone all the way down to the bottom and then what you'll see, which is really nice, um, is that you can do, and you just click between them, uh, there's my test one, here's a brief, there's a home, there's a cell office thing, uh, again just to repeat, these are fake numbers, I should tell you where I got the numbers from, mobile cheat is the excuse typos, I've got an office one here and I've got a weekend cell, I would say and I would argue that these are more appropriate and pertinent now that people work remotely or from home because hey the one that I like about the home one is that they could actually send for people you trust your landline knowing that you are working from home of course if you can google this you'll find you know where that person is located with that said about these fake numbers look I've just googled you know what area codes in the UK are fictional locations and it's really nicely told me 01632 is actually a fake there's all your fake uh, cities and there's all your fake mobiles for the purpose of those there is a help page and that is that now the last thing that I want to share on here is how easy this is 
and once it's all set up I've got a new composed email sent to no one in particular and I've got something down here which I can't remember what this one even is it looks like it's a cell no fear click the pen at the bottom and you can easily swap between your office between your no signature at all which I think is really useful actually I'm going to reply to you but I'm not going to tell you anything about me image with a test there it doesn't look terrible but again it is a test what I don't like on this particular one is that giving three different phone numbers for somebody and then they'll start phoning them and you're not even at any of them so here's a brief this is who I am this is where to find me there's one with the you see what I mean all I'm doing is clicking through clicking through and changing them all I did uh, Google you know etiquette on Gmail signatures and I got tons of nonsense uh, coming out about them in particular with the one which I've experienced naming no names where a person has written to me or replied to me with um, about three or four lines yet their signature is actually turning out to be about another 600 words of spam and websites and quotes and all this stuff that is just really annoying hey I hope I haven't been until next time goodbye <laughs>